fangirls? They seem sometimes to do some of the stupidest things ever. Have you ever been this crazy about any other entertainer? No. And that's what's so amazing. We don't know yeah, why we're like this. Ben, you're sincere? Yes. But be honest, have you ever pictured a life like this? You know, millions and millions of dollars, thousands of girls screaming your name, hundreds and hundreds of people following you wherever you go. Shoot, you know, now that I think of it, shoot, I really need the life I really want. At least I want the money and the girls though. Fan culture totally dominates Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook with thousands of fans catching up on their latest YouTubers, celebrities, and public figures. So it really makes me wonder, you know, what is it about these people that makes people like them so much? I think we all could agree that most of the time it's not from actual talent. Becoming a celebrity or some of the notable notoriety in 2018 isn't exactly hard, you know? You either gotta be good at something or terribly bad at something. Anything can go viral. Yo! What's going on, bro? Me, Quaby. Quaby has one of the most viewed videos ever on the internet. And yes, I mean the whole entire internet. Tell me more about that buying video you made a while back. Which video? Remember this vine from a long, long time ago? Boy, if you don't get- Yeah, that's him. Okay. No, no. I was just in my room, pulled my phone out, and I just literally said, boy, if you don't get- Funny part about that? Yeah. I was gonna delete that video the day I posted it. Because <laughs> I thought it wasn't funny. You thought it wasn't so, funny? Yeah, I thought it wasn't funny. There was a girl that commented, oh, that do not delete this. This is funny as hell. Okay. Literally a week later, shit blew up. <laughs> and yes, that video did blow up. Because of this video, he have gotten the opportunity to travel the world hosting different events, including events for rappers of Louisiana and Playboy Cardi. Of course, this being around the time before they got like super, super popular, like how they are now today. Chris Brown, Snoop Dogg, we posted it, you know what I mean? Bryson Tiller sampled it on one of his songs. But she won't get up any and last but not least, at the 2017 Billboard Awards, this happened. Boy, so yeah, that's the first time. So it's quite obvious to me, you know what I mean? If the support of millions and millions of people can change your life forever, I wonder what it'll do to someone like me. Let's find out. Today's rappers, arguably considered some of the coolest people on this entire earth. They completely dominate Instagram, with some rappers having as little as 9 million followers to 47 million followers. That's a lot. World tour sold out, platinum records being made, and not to mention bagging girls right and left. Man, these niggas are just making history, and to be honest, I try to make history too. This is a real website. This is real advice. Advice made to pause in the minds of millions of people across the world. You know, I wonder why is this stuff even searchable? It don't make no sense to me. Wear something that is not worn outside the house. Eat and drink a lot of one thing. Take an exorbitant amount of food. What's that? Wear sunglasses inside. Keep people guessing on your dating life. Have a workout and or dive plan. And magically, these steps is supposed to make you a celebrity. What kind of advice is this? But hey, I'ma try it. Apparently there's dozens of ways to become famous and dozens of people who actually do it. But is it true that fame can equal girls? I wanted to put exactly that to the test. Here's my experiment. What if I could transform myself into two completely different personalities? Two completely different personalities with two completely different looks. Which one of these would help the better outcome? Let's find out.
visit the club Heard they crowded the floor Don't get around much anymore And last but not least, keep people guessing on your dating life. But before I do that though, I must first even have a dating life. To do just that, I call up a few friends to help me out. Yo, what's good, bro? Yo, what's up, bro? Hello. Hello. My God. Meet my friends. Killin and Corey are the pretty ones of the group. Okay, so I know somebody has to fill me on this one. Wild came on, Quavy are the funny ones. Dire, you sexy as hell. I know I promised you some drugs and some dick, but all I got is the dick right now. You know what I'm saying? You don't mind just taking it right? <laughs> no, of course not. Then you got Young Don the Sauce God. He do animations. Fast forward a couple of days and your boy is flexing hard, my G. I mean, I was walking around with my brand new Supreme bag like I was that. Ooh. And then there's me. I don't really do nothing. Let's try. What's up, big guy? What's going on? Oh, you got two white boys in here. What's going on with that? <laughs> no, there's other people here. Let me see the other people. Oh my god. Oh. Like some light. What? Talk to them. I want to talk to them. You want to talk to them? Oh my god, stop. Alright. No, okay. <laughs> right. Hey, you want our sex? Be honest with me. We're 15. Oh no! I got fuck. What the hell? What? Oh. Hey, if any. Hey, y'all niggas got to start showing me respect now. Y'all ain't respecting me. So yeah, like I say. I don't do nothing. Corey Rayvon has over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, 500,000 on Instagram, and it's basically considered to a lot of people, including myself, the finest girl on YouTube. On top of that, she black, so what can you not like about her? Nigga, she's bad. Corey Raven, I'm not pulling up. Corey, super smash. Yeah, she's fast. You know what's funny? Yeah. I got a homeboy that got a picture of her, and he said that's his dream girl. Hi, my name's Kaylin Ware, and I am 22. Uh, my father was 15, and my mother was 17 when they had me. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. But like, two years ago. Did this pretty face Rachel ring a bell to you? But yeah, once again, me killing. I'm an alpha woman. I'm hey, dominant. All right. So I'm not going to be submissive unless you earn it. A few years ago, Kaylin starred in the hit TV show MTV Are You The One, being probably the most likable personality on that show. Well, at least to me, you know, she just had that certain feistiness to her. I will not go on a date if a man does not pay. Fast forward two years later, Kaylin now motivates and teaches others how to professionally brand themselves as an influencer or online personality. She also does a modeling, and top of that, once again, she's also black. So what can you not like about her? Now on to the young Dawn the Sauce God. Dawn has over 100,000 followers on Instagram and 1 million on YouTube. Popular for his animations, Dawn is basically the best animator out there on the whole site, bro. This nigga bad. I went to the local animal shelter and I picked out a puppy, and she was adorable, man. The moment I held her, I was in love. I looked that dog straight in the eyes and I was like, you are my fucking everything, okay? I love you so much. You're basically my daughter now. I cannot wait to bring you home. Which I promptly named Kiki and yes, she did love me. On top of that, this nigga from Jamaica. So low-key we Caribbean brothers. No need to mention he's also black. Now on to the green screen king. Popular on Instagram, came on as close to 1 million followers and is basically, like I said, the best at what he do. This man puts himself into any situation possible. Literally. Your mama gonna get you. <laughs> your mama gonna get you. You think Chris Brown beat you? <laughs> I'm knock your ass down. And last but not least, this guy. Boy, if you don't get- Yeah, so, like I said, these are my friends. Uh, you said you can give you two reasons on how you can get a girl, right? Oh, uh, shit. I'm a spot. <laughs> like, so what? I just, I just feed you tips. So, I'm giving you advice on how to get girls. Okay, so the perfect way for my top five way to pick up a girl yeah. are going to be be presentable. You gotta be a gentleman. Make sure you smell good. Nice little line up a cup. Okay. Nice fit. What's the best advice you can give somebody? In regards to get like my my approach uh -huh. nowadays when it comes to approaching a female is uh, it's a very long term approach in the sense that what I think girls are attracted to are niggas who just got their shit. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Like just be a good person. Number one, yeah, be straightforward with these people. 
Yo, so then, all right, all right. Don't be around the bush. Let them know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to have sex with them, tell them I want to have sex. Let them know you want to have sex. Saves you time and it saves her time. Right. Your profile picture is everything. Yeah. Because that's going to determine if she's going to even try to check you out. Mm -hmm. Your profile picture has to be looking good. So if you if you were a thug, you got to have a picture of you like me mugging. All right. Some, you know, as a picture. Yeah, something like that. That's going to let her know, like, okay, this guy's dangerous. Now, my second one would be make sure you laugh. Make a laugh, okay? That's very important. It makes us open up to you. Make sure your hygiene is on point. Make sure your teeth brush. You okay. know, you got your little cologne on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, make her smile, laugh, mm -hmm. comfortable. Also, another thing I didn't mention, you know, like, body right, you healthy. Yeah. You know, like, hey, people are going to be attracted, or attracted to people who seem physically healthy. You know, it's not... Uh, having muscles, all that. Literally about oh. number two is confidence. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you talk to a female, make sure your chest is out. Make sure my chest. Your chest is out. Okay. Broad shoulders. Look her dead in the eye. She looks cute. Oh, well, baby girl, you look cute. You know what I'm saying? Show me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let her make her chuckle a little bit. About to have the money spread out in the hand, right? Yeah. And now she's like, oh, these things just ain't gonna get fun. My third one is going to be, let's see, balance the good guy and bad guy role. Okay. You can't be too nice, okay. but you also can't be too mean. Make it really perfect and we'll go crazy over you. How exactly do you do that? You can sometimes do good morning. Okay. And then one day, maybe until the very end of the day because it kind of makes our mind wonder. Okay, okay. Don't be too aggressive with shit. Like, okay. <laughs> Out, like what? You can't be too aggressive. You gotta even almost act like she doesn't exist. Okay. In a way as in you know you want her but you can't let her know that you want her. You gotta make her feel like she wants you more than you want her. My last tip be consistent. When you're consistent with a woman, she'll trust you. No problem. You're this high quality man. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on your goals. You know, you've been getting your money. You're doing all this stuff. You don't have to do it. Yeah. You know? Oh, wow. I want to be around that guy. Because he's just a good person to be around. All around. You know, he's someone that inspires me. He's someone that secure and that prevents any bullshit happening where she is where she finds out who the real you is right because who you are is more than enough because you've been working on your in all the right act in all the right areas that might not be that nice that you were looking for. no bro that's probably the best advice i ever got so far you give me the advice i use in personal life you know I try to make exactly. myself better. That way, it's like an easier thing for me, you know? Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty much it. It's that simple. That's it. If you fail, just like Jordan said, you miss all the shots that you don't take. I think you said that wrong. I think I did. Well, I get you saying no. I but you get, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I saying yeah. No. yeah. Okay. I think I got this, and I mean, I think I could put your advice to the test. And when I get the results, I'm going to let you know. Okay, I'm telling you. You follow my step, you're gonna get her. You're gonna bag her. I promise. Okay, okay. All right, bro. Peace out. All right, peace. I'm gonna talk to you later. Bro. All right, bro. All right, be good. All right, All right bro. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's it. Easy. Okay. All right. Bye, love. All right. And now I want to the final step. Y'all probably guessed it. Time to put the advice to the test. You gotta have a picture of you like me mugging, you know, as a picture. Be straightforward with it. Don't be around the bush. Let them know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to have sex with them, tell them I want to have sex. Let them know you want to have sex. It saves you time and it saves her time. Make sure your hygiene is on point. Make sure your teeth brush. You know, you got your little cologne on. Be presentable. Make sure you smell good. Nice little line up of cup. Nice fit. No crust, no toothpaste. Make sure you look good, okay?
just be a good person.